Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Legends of Equestria, and today we have a special quest that I remember uh, doing maybe just once, but I certainly remember it, and I think it was an interesting one. Now this one's going to be a bit of a long one, sorta. I think most of it is just I have to run back and forth and, you know, go to places, and, you know, I don't... I don't usually like to fly around in these videos, just so, you know, everyone can kind of see exactly where I'm going. Uh, yeah, but, um, I'm not gonna, uh, I'm gonna try to, uh, not waste so much tape and, uh, Loco Loom. I have never seen that one before, but let's, uh, go ahead and let's, t to begin this quest, we're gonna want to talk to Notarize here, Notarize. And, um, just, uh, let's go. Let's see what this guy has to say to us. Perhaps the gr the caveat emptor clause? No, that doesn't help. Oh, sorry to speak nonsense at you. I'm a bit preoccupied. I'm a junior lawyer, and this case should be a slam dunk, but my opponent was very clever in not breaking any obvious rules. That's why you get a job in, like, baking or basket weaving. If you can't handle competition, stay out of debating jobs. Maybe I can help. Could you let me know some details? I hate lawyers. I bet you're helping some corporate businessman get away with swindling his customers. I plead the fifth. All right, let's say, uh, maybe I can help. Could you let me know some details? My client is a local drink vendor, Limeade. She purchased an arcade machine from a local sales pony, and the machine exploded in her house the first time she turned it on. Luckily, no pony in her family was hurt, but the seller refuses to refund her, claiming she must have installed it improperly. She assures me she installed it perfectly. It's just her word against his, and when I attempted to visit th with the sales pony, I learned he had gone missing. Since I can't find him and interrogate him, I'm forced to sit here and poke through sales regulations, hoping he violated some rule when he sold her the product. He's gone missing? That has to be a broken rule right there. Obstruction of justice or something. What's this sales pony's name? Man, this is so out of my league. Good luck and all, but this legal stuff goes right over my head. Let's say, what's the sales pony's name? Loads of Monet. He's the brother of Cloud the Painter. Sells all sorts of things, but he's a bit, let's say, reluctant to ever give up any of his money, even if he deserves to. Since the arcade machine was secondhand, he holds full responsibility for it functioning properly. The case is between Limeade and him, and as it is, I fear the judge will rule in his favor. Limeade isn't as good at persuasive public speaking. I've heard loads that can sway crowds into buying umbrellas on a sunny day when he's not hiding and preventing me from questioning him. I've never even met the pony. How about I try to find him for you? I can see what he knows. You win some, you lose some. Next time, pick a client who can handle something without it exploding. Uh, let's see, how about I try to find him? You would do that? Well, normally I'd be hesitant to accept a stranger's help on a task of this nature, but my options are extremely limited. If you do reach Lodza, make sure you're wearing this when you speak to him. A friend lent it to me. It's a bug that will record the conversation so I can provide it as evidence at the trial. So, do you have any leads to help me find him? What? That's totally a violation of the Fourth Amendment, which states that audio surveillance recorded without the consent of the parties being recorded cannot be submitted as evidence. Uh, let's say this first one. I don't know what he looks like. I've never met him. You should talk to Limeade first. She's probably overseeing the repairing of her house. She's yellow with a green mane. You don't give me much to go off of, but I'll see what I can do. This would mean a lot to me. Thanks for even trying. 
I understand if you can't pull it off, but I wish you the best of luck. So, the funny thing is about this quest when he's telling us about loads of money hiding, loads of money, uh, he's, he's not realizing, hey, uh, 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 I just, uh, I just talked to the guy. You know, I just talked to him not that long ago. I, in fact, didn't I talk to him, like, just last episode or the episode before? No, yeah, the episode before that, I think. Oh, my goodness. That's just, uh, yeah. I'm going to take a shortcut through this house here. Um, hmm. Oh. Hmm. I'm tr is that the one? I'm trying to think now. No, I don't think it's the one. I was thinking because I, I I was about to give a fun fact. I think that's the house that I may have filmed uh, my my old uh, video at. The one with uh, what what was I thinking? Oh, the back when the uh, Simpsons meme was popular. What was that meme? The the one with. Uh, I, I I will never remember it. What it. Oh, steamed hams. Back when steamed hams was a thing. Uh, I made my steamed hams video in that house that I was talking about like four hours ago when I was trying to... when I Before I was trying to think of the title of uh, what I was talking about. So I didn't really need the quest marker too much, but... You know, it's good to have it anyways. As you can see, I refreshed the mini-map. I, I sort of remember by heart where Limeade is. Uh, not perfectly, but, you know, I, I remember well enough where she is. Uh, huh, well, I was going to go up this way, but it's too steep to climb. So I'm just going to go around the scenic route then. Since we can't climb that way. But boy, you know, it'd be good if we, you know, leveled up sometime soon, but it seems like it takes so much to level up now that you don't uh, get even as close as you used to uh, back in the day here in LOE when uh, you used to just level up from, you know, doing quests quite a lot. But, you know, ever since they sort of rebalanced the XP, I guess it's just a lot harder to get XP now, and doing the quests don't give you a whole lot to uh, go off of in terms of uh, XP here. I believe I'm heading the right way. Hang on, just scroll to zoom here. Yeah, she should be right over here. Yeah, there she is. Okay. All right, so let's talk to Limeade. Oh, uh, hello there. I'd invite you in for something to drink, but, well, the inside of my house is still being reconstructed. Oh, well, she's inviting us in for drinks. Uh, let's see. It looks fine from the outside. Don't worry about it. I'm working for Notarize. Let's say that. You are? Oh, okay. How's he doing? I really want to win the case against that carpetbagger. My children are, were so frightened. Can you tell me more about what happened exactly? According to Lodza, you are at fault for improperly setting up the machine. Let's say, can you tell me more about what happened? Well, one of my children, Spice, I think, asked me for an arcade machine. And since it's almost her birthday, I thought, why not? So I approached Lodza. Since I'd always heard good things about him, he was very friendly and helpful, or at least I thought so at the time. He handled all aspects of ordering and delivery. All I did was pay him. When the machine arrived, I lugged it into the living room and set it up. But before I got a chance to play, it, Spice had to get to soccer, soccer practice, excuse me. So that night she played it for the first time. I was in the kitchen when I heard a loud bang, and there was smoke everywhere. Spice was so terrified, I'll never forget the look on her face. You mentioned setting the machine up. What exactly did that entail? Would you mind if I spoke to your children, see what they know? What makes you think Lodza is responsible for the machine exploding? Let's say uh, you mentioned setting the machine up. There you go. 
I still have the instruction manual. Let me see here. Place the machine on a level surface and ensure there is space between the cooling fan and the wall. Press the on button once and wait for the screen to turn on. Do not leave drinks on the active machine. That's it. Did you perchance leave a drink on the active machine? Could I see the machine? Hey. Well, there's not really a machine left to look at. It exploded, remember? That's a shame. Guess I'm stuck with recounts. But you've still told me a lot of useful stuff, thanks. Thank you for your time. Let's say the first one. I told you everything I know. Hope it helps. Feel free to ask Sugar and Spice whatever you want. Spice was the only one to play it, but Sugar was alone with it when I took Spice to soccer practice. She might have seen something. Okay, so now we gotta talk to the two childrens. Let's uh, talk to uh, Sugar first. Oh, hi. I don't really want to talk. I'm still shaken by the ordeal. Oh, we won't talk long, I promise. I just want to know a bit more about what happened. So what's your side of the story regarding the machine? Let's say the first one. Oh, this arcade machine didn't have anything to do with me. Spice was the one that wanted to buy it. Mom bought it for her. And then the internal mechanisms reacted negatively to being energized. You were alone with the machine during Spice's soccer practice. Did you play it? What can you tell me about the machine? Let's say, let's say the first one again. Oh no, I don't care about electronics. I'm going to be a chef, like Mom wants. Besides, super magic bros would probably be too difficult for me. Well, thanks for talking to me a bit. Did you even look at the machine? Let's say that. Well... I didn't pay much attention to it, but I think it was a vector-monitored upright Super Magic Bros cabinet using a 56-pin edge connector on the board to wire the control panel to the processor. I well, hope the ordeal didn't scar you too much. Glad you didn't pay attention to the machine. <laughs> I'd say I hope it didn't scar you too much. Again, I'm not really involved. Nice talking to you. Well, shoot. Sounds like she's gonna not be a chef after all. Maybe she should be an electric horse. Wow, that was wild! So, Spice, what exactly happened with the arcade machine? It blew up! It was so cool! Could you go into more detail? What else can you tell me about why it blew up? Let's say that. I wanted a game machine to play, so Mommy bought it. And I was so excited to play it when I got it here. But when it got here, but I couldn't because I had to go play soccer. So Sugar got to play it first time, the first time. But I played it the second time, but that was the time it exploded. What can you tell me about the machine? You were right there when it happened. Do you know why it exploded? Let's say that. No idea. I was halfway through the first level of Pack Pony. When the thing started shaking and the buttons were all hot and everything went boom and it was so cool. Uh, Thanks for your help. Well, at least you enjoyed this event. Uh, Thanks for your help, I guess. Let's say that. I'm so jealous Sugar got to play it correctly. Can we buy another one? I want to see it explode again. Huh, so they're saying it's two different machines. This one says it's Super Magic Bros and this one says it's Pack Pony. Let's ask you about this, huh, Mommy? What do you have to say with your dandelion bracelet wedding ring? Talk to you, Limeade. Hello. Was the conversation with my daughters interesting? Can you tell me what the name of the game and the arcade machine was called? Do you know if Sugar played the machine while you and Spice were at Spice's soccer practice? Let's say, can you tell me what the name of it was called? Oh, I'm afraid I don't know. You'll have to ask Loads. I'm sure he'd have it in his records. Oh, so I gotta ask that guy. You know, 
It's too bad it's looking like it, it's gonna work well in that guy's favor, because I don't really like loads of money. He's kind of a jerk. You know, so it's too bad it's gonna work in his favor. He's like real. he's got an ad of tubes like you wouldn't believe. I almost wish that he would get the pantsuit off of him. Not that he wears any, but oh well, if he's innocent, he's innocent, but... You know, maybe he just needs something to give him an attitude adjustment. He's a shoddy sales pony, and I assume we're heading to him now, so I'm just, excuse if I, I'm, I'm just sort of jumping down places, so. Yeah, I, I mean, he's right over here. It's, here, I'm showing you the shortcut route without flying. Here you go. That doesn't take too long. Oh, my. Okay, Hi. I want to talk to you from behind you. You there. Oh, wait, it's you again. I, I don't even remember his voice, so that's going to have to be his voice for this episode. Uh, I'm still window shopping. What have you been up to recently? I have one more question. I still don't see anything that piques my interest. Let's say, uh, what have you been up to recently? Funny that you should ask. I'm currently involved in a lawsuit and promoting a new book. Lawsuit? Book? I'd say lawsuit. I don't want to deal with the book for a while. Oh, come on. Not you, too. Will every pony stop bringing this up? My maid can't follow basic installation steps and destroyed her own machine. This is not my fault. How on earth could incorrectly installing a machine make it explode? Why did you go missing unexpectedly when Notarize wanted to talk to you? Uh, those are both good questions. Let's ask this first one. Take it from me, ponies will amaze you by how incompetent they can be. Certain ponies shouldn't be trusted operating anything from, uh, from Bunsen burners to butterfly nets. It is impossible for an Applesoft arcade machine to explode on its own. They are the best designed, game designed gaming systems in their field. I've never gotten a bad product from them, and they have my professional affirmation. Far more likely, Limeade spilled her namesake on the keyboard or something. Why were you unavailable for comment when Notarize tried to speak with you? Your case doesn't sound great, Duke. Kinda totally sounds like this is your fault. I said Duke on purpose, by the way. Oh, uh, let's say, why were you unavailable for comment? There we go. Yeah, we can ask both hard questions. He didn't schedule an appointment or anything. Just waltzed into my office and demanded he speak with me. You know how many days I've spent in my office this past month? Zero. I'm always out traveling to speak with contacts, secure products, shipping, and an assortment of other duties. It takes work to be the most respected arrangement sales pony in Equestria. You sound convincing, but you're a sales pony. It is literally your job to be convincing. I still have my suspicions. Says you and every pony else. This has seriously hampered my ability to sell things in Cloudopolis, my favorite city and hometown. This could harm my reputation throughout Equestria. Just keep thinking I'm not hindered by all this bad press... But I'll have you know, unlike Limeade, I have a big reputation I've worked hard to maintain, and I don't appreciate being accused wildly by technology, technologically incompetent ponies. Don't go all self-indignant. You're not the one whose house has been exploded. Can I quote you on how you described Limeade? Yeah, I'll say that. Just go away. I'm sick of talking to rubberneckers like you who have already made up their minds on who the bad guy is. Ah, well, I guess that wasn't the right thing to say. You there. Oh, wait, it's you again. I'm still window shopping. What have you been up to recently? The, uh, oh, I'm, gonna, I'm not even going to read this. Let's say lawsuit. Yeah, yeah, explode. Why were you unavailable? Your case, why were you unavailable? Okay, you sound convincing and don't. Get all self-indignant, you're the one whose house has been exploded. Okay, let's say that one. Just go away, I'm sick of talking to rubberneckers like you who made up their minds who the bad guy is. Was that not the right one again? Hold on, I'm still window shopping. What have you been up to recently? Lawsuit, book, lawsuit. 
Come on, uh, how on earth could it, uh, uh, I, 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 hmm, what, don't go on self-indignant, what the heck, okay, what if we, I'm gonna have to use, exhaust all my options, apparently, um, how, why did you go missing? He didn't schedule an appointment. You sound convincing. Uh, it says that you... There's no... How do I advance the conversation? Fish and mail. Ask him questions. I, I'm... You, but... I have one more question. Okay, yeah. Let's say that. What do you want now? Don't go all defensive on me now. I'm just curious what you're... Could, what could have possibly made the arcade machine explode? You've got to admit it was suspicious you wouldn't talk to Notarize. What was the arcade machine's name? Ask him that. That's a new question. Let me see. According to my records, the game was Pack Pony. Why do you need to know? Hmm, I think I know who's responsible for this mix-up. Let me go talk to Limeade one more time. I think I've solved this case. Really? If you convince her, please tell her to drop the court case and help tell everyone it wasn't my fault. Man, see that? Oh, help tell everyone it wasn't my fault, the guy says. Why would I help you? You just freaking demanded that I, well, that I uh, go help fix your reputation. I mean, this guy, yeah, why don't you go around and do something on your own? Well, not that anyone would trust you, but still... Oh, jeez. Nah, so we just go back sort of this way. And uh, we're heading over to uh, talk to Limeade. So we know it was uh, Sugar now who did it. I'm pretty sure we know that. Because she was, said the incorrect name of the machine. So, I mean, that, that's suspicious. You gotta admit yeah, sprinting with no stamina. Uh, anyways, yeah, we gotta go talk to uh, Limeade again, or maybe talk to her kids, I don't know. Uh, let's see, let's just see what the... Yeah, tell Limeade the truth. Okay, well, uh -huh. well yeah, uh, her kid is suspicious, that's the truth. This is rather interesting here. Um, see what Notarize says about that. You know, I, I still don't like loads of money. I, I don't like him. He's got an attitude. I don't like his face. I don't like his hair. I don't like him. I wish he would lose this case. But, oh well. Talk to Limeade. Do you have a resolution? I think I figured out who was responsible for this mix-up. I need to talk to your daughters a bit more, but I think I'm close. Let's say that. Uh, okay. Talk to Sugar here. We have to talk again. Oh, wait. What's her phone? We have to talk again? Your sister says you played the game while it was at practice. At, while she was at soccer practice. Is this true? What did you say the arcade game was called? Let's say that. Uh... It was Super Magic Bros, right? Huh. Huh. Hiya! Did you say your sister played the game while you were at soccer practice? What did you say the arcade game was called? Say that. It was Pack Pony. Sugar showed me in the magazine. It looked so fun. I was excited to finally play it. Yep, we figured this out. Talk to Limeade. Here we go. Do you have a resolution? I think I figured who, out who's responsible for this mix-up. I need to talk to you. Oh, no, no, no. Say this one. Really? Well, who is it? I think you built the machine improper. Built it? I think Lodza sent you a fraudulent machine. I think Spice blew up the machine for fun. I think Sugar is responsible somehow. Let's say that. Sugar? Sugar doesn't care about gaming. Why would you suspect her? She got the name of the arcade machine wrong. Isn't that suspicious that she doesn't care? Let's say she got the name of it wrong. Well, she said she didn't play it. 
Her sister said she saw Sugar playing it, so why would she get the name wrong? Her sister said that Sugar showed the magazine article that prompted her to buy it. She still sh she should still have known the name. Say that. Huh? Sugar? Yes, Mom? Have you heard what this friendly stallion has said? Yes. And? Well, okay, I wasn't completely honest. I'm listening. You see, I showed Spice that magazine to get her to buy you one, not because I wanted to play it, but because I wanted to analyze it, to see how it works. When you took Spice to soccer practice, I pried off the back panel and poked around, but I knocked something out of place and it broke off. I spent hours trying to fix it, but then Spice walked in and I had to lie and say I was playing it. Uh, why? Why didn't you tell us the truth? Well, I didn't want you to know I was interested in electronics. You keep saying you hope I become a chef and keep taking me to cooking classes. I didn't want to disappoint you. Sugar, I never knew you wanted to make machines like this. That certainly explains all those books in your room and the spare parts littering the storage area and your science project on trapping lightning in bottles. Those are called batteries. Sweetheart, I'm sorry if you felt you were being restricted by what I wanted. I took you to cooking classes to make sure you got exper to experience it, but if it's not your thing, that's fine. It is? There are enough ponies in this world to do everything. There are no reason to spend time doing things you don't want to. We actually have a bit of a family history building things. Really? Let me grab the family photo album, and I'll show you, starting with your grandparents. Jet Black, thank you for clearing this up. Tell Notarize and Loads I'm sorry for the trouble. I'll drop my court case against Mr. Monet. He'll be pleased to know. Glad everything worked out. See ya. Let's take a shortcut through her house. There is no... What the heck? Is that not your house? Is this your house? Uh, it almost looked like something exploded there for a second, so it would have been interesting to see if that was that lady's house. What are these houses anyways? Why are they so small? Cream. I feel like there was something special about her. That's right, she's a shop. She sells the spearmint scarf and the vertical striped socks some pie dress and top hat. Well, anyways, goodbye, cream. <laughs> uh, let's see what. Uh, who, which one are we talking to? Tell notarize everything. Don't tell me I have to talk to that arrogant guy. Uh, lo uh, loads of money. Now, huh? I would use slash stuck. I kind of am tempted to, cause this video is a bit long. But I want to show you the way back, but there's such an easy way to do this. You know, but I mean, I'm just going to be jumping over stuff anyways and going down the, this route and everything. So, I mean, it doesn't, what does it matter anyways? Oh, well, let's just run back because this is a, it's a longer quest. I'll just do it properly. Sort of. Let me, let me uh, run this way. <laughs> Take my usual shortcuts. Woo! Woo! Okay. Did you like the woo? I hope you did. I hope you've been paying attention. Jump over Smithy here. Um, just run back. We're running on back. Running back to notarize. Yeah. And run up these people's stairs. I wonder what it's like in these nice little houses. Uh-oh. There comes a guard to wave. Huh, we wave practically in sync. Um, but anyways, let's go talk to Notarize. Wait. He's up there. Hmm, I didn't have the... This is interesting. Have I ever been... How do we get over there aside from jumping? I think we just gotta jump from this platform up there. 
So you might actually have to go to the uh, hospital area and just jump from that platform because there might not be another way to get over there. Huh. I don't know if there's a portal somewhere, but since I'm a Pegasus, unfortunately, I'm going to have to use my powers and just fly up here. Uh, yeah, here we go. And so we're back and we need to speak to Notarize again. And let's check it out. So, how did it go? Get anything on Lodza? Not exactly. You're a bit out of a job. I kind of went above and beyond the call of duty now. There's no case. Let's say that. Really? Wow. Care to explain? Not really. To make a long story short, Limeade has dropped her case against Lodza and everybody's happy. It's all recorded on that bug of yours. Limeade dropped her case. It's over. Let's say that. You should inform Lodza that the case has been dropped. Was there anything else? No, nothing else. I'll go talk to Lodza. Uh, Lodza knows. Uh, I'll say nothing else. Well, wow. Good work, I guess. I consider the successful ensuring of justice more important than my arguing the case. So I'm okay with this. Especially since I wasn't really prepared for this trial. I guess it's only fair that you still get a portion of the lawyer's fee I would have gotten. Would you agree to 7%? 7%. You punk. Uh, I have a feeling it's not quite over yet. Someone said something. Ah, it's Russian. Shine Afton. Shine Afton. Okay, well, yeah. <laughs> Maybe there is a way to get up here. Oh, I, I guess you could just sort of... No? No, not really. But, uh, let's see. Is the quest still ongoing? No, I guess it's over. You don't really have to talk to him. But I'm going to do it just anyways. Do it for the video. Talk to loads and tell him, Hey, lawsuit's dropped. You're still, you're still a jerk. But lawsuit's dropped anyways. Uh, just don't talk to me anymore. <laughs> There's Mellow Cloud walking on air again. But here's Lodza. It's finished with him. Yeah. You there. Oh, wait, it's you again. I'm still window shopping. What have you been up to recently? I still don't see anything that piques my interest. How about this? Funny that you should ask. I'm currently promoting a new book. Book? You might have heard of it. I'm promoting the upcoming autobiography of the famous of the fabulous star, Purple Rain. I'd be happy to put you on the waiting list. It's due back from the printer very soon. Oh uh, yeah. Okay, so I guess you can't tell him anything about this uh about the uh lawsuit thing being dropped. I guess that's it then. Um yeah, that's going to be the end of the video, but I just want to point out, yeah, uh, as you saw, he's mentioning the whole, uh, uh, he's referring to another quest that we're going to have to do, which is another long one. In fact, it's considerably longer than this, at least in the sense of, you know, I have to run back and forth, and it's a much longer journey, but we'll get to that when we, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, but... That's going to be the end of this quest. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time on Legends of Equestria. Take care, everyone. Goodbye.